Alright, hello everyone, my name is Yu, this is Better Gaming. Today I'm gonna show you how you can update your modded Nintendo Switch to the version 20.1.5 and how you can update it offline. I will also show it for the Patreon members who have access to the Mega Package because I also updated a new Mega Package that works on the version 20.1.5. So the very first thing you want to do is to connect your micro SD card with your computer and, and I did that right now over Hecate with my Nintendo Switch. As you can see I have here USB-C to USB cable that is connected to my computer. And once you have that Switch SD folder open here, you want to join our Telegram group if you aren't right now and you want to click here on the pinned message so that you can join actually our uh, Better Gaming chat group in which you can download the files. Then as you can see you will find here number 16 switch pack 20.1.5 and you want to download that. Now once you have it downloaded it's as simple as opening that up, choosing everything and copy pasting it inside your micro SD card or your Nintendo Switch at this specific moment. If it asks you to replace stuff just click on replace all the files and if everything's inside you can actually go back to Hecate. For those who want to update with the Mecha Baggage, make sure that you are a member of Better Gaming, still are a member, so that you are able to download the files from Discord. Now in order to gain access, you will need to go into your settings and then click here on uh, more and then connected apps and then click here on Discord and connect your patron with your Discord. It will automatically give you here a role so that you are able to see here the Mega Pack. If not, then just leave and rejoin the server. Then just make sure to download those four parts. Three of them aren't uploaded at the moment, but they will be soon. So just like here, download all four parts, you know, just of the newest ones. Then you will have four zip files, just like here. Take every one of those together, right click them and click to extract to Mega Package 20.1.5 version 2, which will give you a folder. And here it's the exact same. You will just need to take all files, copy them over to your micro SD card and replace the stuff. Now I already did that and once you did everything here you want to right click your micro SD card and eject it and put it back into your switch or just go here back to Hecate and click on close. Now once we are here we want to close here we want to go to the home menu and we want to click on launch and then custom firmware emu MMC which is the emu NAND if you have an emu NAND installed otherwise you want to click on custom firmware SysNAND but I have right now an emu NAND installed so I'm gonna go to this one. Okay, and if you are inside, you want to go into your album, there. Then you want to go to Daybreak, open that up, click on install, and then you should find here 20.1.5. Click on that, click on continue, preserve settings, install FAT32 plus X FAT, continue, and, it, and now it's installing the original firmware 20.1.5 on your Switch. Once that's done, click on reboot. Okay, then click on launch again, and launch again custom firmware you want to see, or SysNet if you have SysNet. Now as you can see we have right now an error, this is because of the theme which we have installed. So what you need to do is to remember the program ID 011001000, .001, so we're gonna just uh, hold that number in mind, click once on the reboot button. While we have that in mind we're gonna go to Hecate, then USB tools and SD card, connect it once again with the computer. Then we want to go to atmosphere, contents and you will find here the exact same number which is one which is zero, one, many zeros, 1000, we're gonna delete that. And then we're gonna eject again. Okay, and once we are in, you will see that we are on 20.1.5. If you install the Mega Package or just want to install a theme generally, make sure that you have internet connection, like me here. Then go to your album. And then open up MX Themes Installer. Every time you updated your original firmware, you need to have internet connection the first time when you open up MX Themes Installer in order that it updates itself. Otherwise, you will always have crashes when you install a new theme. Now, here you have a new theme from the Mecha package which you want to install. Just like that. Then you want to reboot. And you should see the new theme which is looking like this here, which you will have inside the Mecha package. I hope you liked this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you aren't right now and I hope I'll see you in the next video. My name is Hugh, don't forget to smile, peace!